Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 15 in chapter 24. Chapter 24 is about capacitance, Dow Electric's electric energy storage. So there you can see, in this case, we have a capacitor. And then it is filled with the air, right? And we know the dry air will break down if the electric field dense is about 3 times 10 power 6 volts over meter. So there, we'll first write down this electric field dense. Ask you what amount of charge can be placed a capacitor if the area of each plant is 6.8 centimeters squared. So we write down the A, right? Now, question. And now we know in this case, what amount of charge can be placed just in, in the cases the air will not break down, right? The air now break down that means the E just equal to 3 times 10 over 6, or 10 power 6 volts meter, right? This is the electric field between these two plants in conductor, and A is given. And also, we know the constant epsilon is given, ask Q to find the charge Q, right? Now you can see, you know these three quantities, unit 2 comes to Q. And it looks like we know in this chapter, we can have one quantity, one quantity to connect them together. Capacitance, right? We know the capacitance is equal to charge over volts, over the potential. And also the capacitance is determined by epsilon naught times A over D, right? Yes. So we can write the left-hand side as Q over V, the right-hand side as epsilon naught A over D. Agree? Yes, and then from this equation, we can move the v at the left at the right hand side and get the function for q. Q is the charge. This is what we are interested. And in this function, you can see v over d is what is just the electric field dense, right? So we can write down the function q as epsilon naught times a times e, and input epsilon naught a e inside. You get the answer there. Thank you.